Hey Wesley, this is Thomas. I bought your gadget a month ago for my 2000 Mercedes S430 that's only got 80,000 miles on it. This car is beautiful and it's perfect, except it doesn't have Bluetooth, it doesn't have Pandora, it doesn't have anything. But now, thanks to you, it does. So now I'm hands-free when I'm talking on the phone. Now, I got Pandora, I got Sirius XM, I got anything I want. What a great product, thanks so much. We are going to review this Gizmo Guy gadget. It is actually an alternative to having Bluetooth in your, in your car. If you have one of those vehicles, 2004 and older, I believe, and you do not have an auxiliary jack or auxiliary option or even a uh, Bluetooth to play through your speakers, you can stream um, music on your phone. You can talk, have calls on your um, do your speakers. You could do, um, listen to podcasts, whatever, um, right through your speakers without the static. How many, how many products on the market claims that there's an option for that? And then when you buy it and you play your music or whatever, all you hear is a bunch of static in between the music. This is not a case, the case with the Gizmo Guy gadget. It is definitely an alternative to having, um, not having Bluetooth in your car. It does tell you that it's plug and play, no Bluetooth, no wire, no setup. This is the actual packaging that comes in. The website for this is iPhoneFMTransmitter.com. That is the website if you are interested. And if you are like me with an older car, this is definitely for you. This again is the packaging that it comes in. What comes in that packet is going to be a charging cord for the actual unit itself. Because this is the unit. Little gadget here and here is the charging cord for the unit. When you first get the unit, please make sure that you charge it overnight. You want it at full charge. I think it's about five to um, eight hours of continuous play on a full charge. But here's the charger cable that comes with it. And if you have an older iPhone without an auxiliary jack, then you definitely need the adapter in order to um, use this unit. So actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. And I'm gonna turn up my volume so you can hear all the static. Oh, there are three stations on the back that you will preset your radio to. Um, I just went with the 87.9 because um, mines work great on that station, but you have three options and you would use the one that's best for you as far as um, the listening sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn up my volume so you can hear all of the current static. As you see, that's a lot of static. What you gotta do, first and foremost, is press this power button, and that's what I'm going to do, and you're gonna hear the static cease once this power comes on. And now you don't hear any more static. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is hook this up into my charging port here. And I'm gonna play some music. We're gonna see how this goes. No static, nothing. Nice and clear, crisp. And then, oh, it gets better, it gets better. Hey Siri. Wake her up. Hey Siri. Play Ronald Isley, I Need You. So you can even talk to Siri and control Siri right through your speakers, through the um, gadget guy. So, as you see guys, real time review, happy with the product, again, if you do not have an older car with those auxiliaries in there already or Bluetooth and you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars replacing your radio, then this gadget is an ultimate, ultimate um, alternative. It costs 90 bucks. Yes, it's more than what you see on the market for the 20 and 30 bucks. But guess what? I don't mind paying a little bit of more money. I don't mind paying 90 bucks to actually hear my music clearly 
That's why it costs more than the things on the market because as we know, things on the market in this caliber, all you hear is static in the mix of music and this is not the case. So you get what you pay for, guys. Thanks.